Looking at the image behind me, it may not be what you think of when you hear the word library, but it is a growing trend in the area. Fox 11's Alex Ranallo has more on what are being called little free libraries. Driving through a Fox City's neighborhood, you might spot one, a tiny house full of books. This is a little free library. Nicole Argall says hers makes the neighborhood a little friendlier. It's a nice little spot for the community. You can stop to pick a uh, book up anytime you want. With the little free library, you're invited to take books, but you're also invited to leave one or two of your own. In Evelyn Lee's case, once her library was built, someone surprised her by stocking it. There are books for adults and children. And so they were full of a variety of different books. It's great. The little free library started in Hudson, Wisconsin in 2009. Since then, thousands of people across the world have registered their own libraries with the organization. But take note, the libraries aren't all outside. It's where the magic is. One of the grander little free libraries can be found at Kakana Coffee and Tea. What is that? You know, it's got a chandelier in it. It's weird. <laughs> A customer created this. Owner Allison Zimmerman says a lot of visitors like to browse. But what about a downside? Are book bandits an issue? Yes, some books aren't returned, however. They don't think of it as stealing. It's just like, take one. <laughs> you don't have to bring one and replace it. You can just take one. Zimmerman says the bright side is the movement brings attention to a beloved hobby with an uncertain future. It's really important to just remember that reading is important. In Appleton, Alex Ranallo, Fox 11 News. And you can find a link to a website that tracks the little libraries on our website at fox11online.com. Just check for that in the news links section.